Welcome to this Automation Networks video. The ANC120E is an economical and high performance USB to Data Highway Plus converter interfacing major HMI, SCADA, PLC programming packages to devices on DH. It is an alternative to Allen Bradley's 1784 U2 DHP at a more affordable price. It was efficiently engineered allowing the RS Lynx Control Logix Ethernet IP driver to function at 12 megabits USB speed and Data Highway Plus communications up to 230.4 kilobots. Another great feature of the ANC120E is its auto configuration capabilities for DH Plus node, baud rate, and cable polarity. By default, the ANC120E will automatically scan the DH Plus network to find a free node number and the baud rate to configure itself for a successful DH Plus connection. Of course, you can configure a fixed node number and baud rate if you prefer. Automatic polarity detection allows connecting the DH Plus cable without worrying about correct polarity. These unique features are very convenient when you need to communicate with different DH Plus devices on different networks and allow simple usage without the need to reconfigure the device each time. Similar converter functionality is available in our pocket sized ANC 100E Ethernet IP to DH Plus converter for desktop or DIN rail mounting. Today we'll be showing you how to configure the ANC 120E USB to DH Plus converter. First plug in the ANC 120E to a free USB port in your computer or laptop. We will start with the installation of the ANC 120E driver. Click on the Windows Start menu. Click on Control Panel. Click on Hardware and Sound. Then click on Device Manager. Under Other Devices category, locate the ANC 120E device. Right click on ANC 120E device icon. Click on Update Driver Software. Click on Browse My Computer for driver software. Click on Let Me Pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. Locate network adapters in the list and click on it. Then click Next. Wait a few seconds for the list to load and from the manufacturer list locate and select Microsoft Corporation. From the network adapter list select remote NDIS compatible device then click next. You will get a warning message when installing the driver. Click the yes button to continue. Then click the close button when the driver installation is finished. Check the device manager window. Now the ANC120E should appear as a new network adapter under the network adapter list. The driver package creates a new Ethernet network adapter which is used to communicate with the device over the USB port. The default IP address of the device is set to 192.168.137.1. The first time the device is used, it is required to configure the network adapter created by the driver to use a static IP address in order to access the ANC120E web configuration interface. Okay, now go back to the Windows control panel. Click on Network and Internet. Click on Network and Sharing Center. Click on Change Adapter Settings then you will have to locate a network adapter labeled ANC120E. Please note, Windows can assign any number after local area connection label. In our particular example, Windows assigned a number 2 to our network adapter, but it can be different in your case. Select and right click on the corresponding network adapter. Click on Properties. From the list of items, select Internet Protocol version 4. Click the Properties button, select Option, use the following IP address. Configure the adapter to use the following settings. IP address will be 
0.168.137.1. Subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0. Leave the default gateway and DNS server settings blank. Click the OK button, then click the close button to close local area connection properties window. Important. If your ANC120E IP address has been already configured with different values, it will be necessary to adjust the virtual network adapter's IP settings to match the IP settings on the device, or reset the device to factory defaults. Now you should be able to open any web browser and enter the IP address of the ANC120E with the username and password to configure it as you need. As we can see the DH plus node and the DH plus baud rate are set to automatic by default. This means that the device will automatically find and set the correct baud rate for the successful DH plus connection. And also will find an available DH plus node and set it as its own. We just showed how convenient and easy it is to set up the ANC120E. Highlights features of the device include full compatibility with all PLC programming, HMI, SCADA packages, including all older versions of RS Links Classic, latest RS Links Enterprise with RS Logics 5 and 500, Wonderware DAS, SciTech Ethernet IP, and Kepware Control Logics Ethernet IP drivers. Easy to set up using the RSLink Control Logics Ethernet driver. The most economical on the market, providing significant cost savings to the 1784, U2 DHP, and other competitive DH Plus converters. The most modern state of the art DH Plus converter options in today's market, outperforming all competitors. Efficiently engineered for fast throughput, providing 12 megabits USB full speed. No RS-232 USB conversion required. It supports all DH Plus data rates of 57.6, 115.2, and 230.4 kilobaud of communication cable lengths exceeding standard requirements. Idle Detect features allows baud rate, DH Plus node, and polarity of cables to be automatically configured, with no need for setup simplifying cabling and configuration. The smallest converter on the market available in handy USB stick format with no requirements for an external power supply. With two easy DH Plus connections which include the 2-pin Phoenix Blue Hose connector option or direct 8-pin mini DIN cable connection to PLC port on your Slick 504 or PLC 5. Automation Networks stands behind our quality engineering with a 30-day free trial offer with no restocking charge and a lifetime replacement warranty if defective. Thank you for watching this Automation Networks video. Please visit our website at www.automation-networks.com or contact us at info at automation-networks.com.